Hello witches and warlocks and welcome back to my channel. So it is now time for my first unboxing of the month and it is April um, and it is Freya's Cauldron. Now, like I said, I only have two um, unboxings this month, potentially. I can't remember if my Fre if my um, Cures and Curses went through um, or not. Um, we'll find out. If I get one, I get one. If I don't, I don't. I do know that some people, the payment went through automatically. So the April one is still coming uh, for those, obviously, as you know, for those who don't know, um, you know, Fre uh, Cures and Curses are no longer a business they've gone out of business now so i will only be getting two boxes um as of possibly this month or next month and um, we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see um i went on holiday so i missed out on the chance to get the last mystery boxes that they were selling so but i do know that they are still sending out the ones for april so if you did get april's box then it should be coming to you I'm not entirely sure though if that is the if that is the actual truth or not. I don't know. So don't don't um, you know go by what I say because I I honestly can't be 100 percent sure. So anyway, we're going to open Freya's Cauldron for April. So let's have a little look. Just inside, you get the first look. Not much to see by the looks of this. Um, so. On the top is a list of what's inside. We're not going to have a look at that. In here is our book of shadow sheets. And this will tell us what the theme is. And it is magical protection. Magical protection. We have um, herbs, protection oil, which, which is ladder, which is bells, which is witch balls, amulets. Um, what else is on here? Uh, sigils, poppets, um, then it's got the crystal, the month, and, um, and something else that we don't want to look at because it will tell us what's in the box. So it's magical protection is this month's. Um, so let's have a look what we've got. So the first thing is this little envelope, which means it's going to be, I do believe, a coaster for Beltane. There you go. So this is gonna be one of those mixed boxes, I think, where it's gonna be Beltane meets um, meets protection, really. So Beltane, there we go. Now, so you can color these in. I have not colored mine in. Um, I might do, I might paint them, who knows, so I get ever get time to myself. It just doesn't happen often. Uh, and then we've got a protection poppet doll, um, which you can make yourself. Again, one of those things I never really get around to doing, because I never have, have what they call free time. You know, that sort of time when you've got nothing to do. Because whenever I'm free, I've always got something to do. So, there we go. A little puppet. Um, and it basically, you just sew, you put what you want inside and sew it together. Um, it tells you how to do that on here. So it's a little puppet doll. Uh, and that's meant to be for protection to put on your water if you want or to take with you somewhere um, but yeah a little thing I mean that shouldn't take too long to do in fairness it's, I guess spare half an hour one day I mean <coughs> <coughs> you have to give me I've either got a head cold or I've got hay fever I can't figure out which one it is either way I'm congested I've been taking congestions ever since I got back off holiday and um, sort of hit me as soon as I got off the plane, really. Um, as soon as I hit the ground, basically, instant, my ears were blocked anyway because of the flight, and they wouldn't unblock. And then because of that, I think because my ears blocked, um, it sort of caused me to have a, a congestion problem, and that's what caused the cold. So we've got Witch's Bell's Kit. So let's open this up and find out what's inside. Witch's Bells. So we've got a little information and then, there we go. I think there's three. Oh, okay, there's the third. Oh. So we have um, some string and three. Ooh. 
bells as well. I keep dropping them. Pickle bells. We've got three of those. So we got a little piece of string and three bells. And I'm assuming we somehow put them together to make some witches' bells. Now I do have witches' bells. It's got the instructions on the back there on how to to do them and how to make them on the front. I do have a set of witches' bells. I must admit, already a big set, um, but I don't use them often. They're associated with air, really, because of the sound they make. Um, then we got a blind ruin spell kit. But oh, sorry, bind ruin spell kit, not blind. Bind, as in to bind something. My ears are still a little bit blocked up, um, but it caused me to have like really bad headaches anyway. Um, so I had blocked up ears. Um, I had um, headaches because my sinuses were so bunged up and then my nose was all bunged up as well. And then I started coughing and splattering. And... Yeah, um, I've been tested, so I know it's not the C word. It's not COVID, so. I know that for certain. So we've got a little ruin here and then a little bag of herbs. And so I can tell you what they are. So it's a bind, a bind herb blend, a blind ruin herb blend um, and a protection bind ruin charm. And then there is actually other stuff to go with it in the box which we will find out in a minute. Don't want to give it all away, but because um, it's always a surprise, like a surprise on this channel, don't we? So yeah, so that's our Bind Ruin Rune spell kit. We've got a, a May Queen ritual, May Queen ritual. That's really weird, right? Because at my school, I remember dancing around the Maypole, which is obviously quite pagan, where my school was Christian, like a Christian school. They And I went to a Christian school first and then a Catholic school. Um, so it was, but we danced around the Maypole. Um, but that is such a, that's such a pagan thing to do. So we've got a piece of green, the ribbon and a green candle um, and this is a May Queen ritual so there'll be other stuff to go along with that and obviously it will all come together there's quite a lot of rituals in this box this this month a lot of rituals ritual kits spell kits quite a few now there's about four so far then we got a um, witch's protection salt now I don't want to get this out because Obviously, it will go everywhere because if I rip the bag, there'll be a hole in the bag and salt will go everywhere and I've got nothing to put it in at the moment. So um, it says, caution, this product is dusty. So we got that, which is protection salt. I think I do have some protection salt somewhere. So I will add that to it. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so we're on to our next bag. Um, we got this little bag. It's brown. Nice brown. I don't know if we've ever had a brown like this bag like this anyway and it's a Beltane and it's some and they're dancing around the maypole see so it's a little Beltane um, charm and it's on a string and these are quite heavy which is why I like wearing them because they're heavy it weighs it down and then you can adjust the string at the top there have it short as long as you want um, and it comes in this as organza baggy so there you go um, and I wear these throughout the month um, that, for instance, um, I wear my, um, my last, the last one, which was, um, Ostara, because <coughs> I've got my little hair, my little hair there on my, on my jumper for Ostara. So that is cool. I was like those. Then we have a... Bind Ruin Herb Blend. So there, see that? And it comes in these little jars, which are always cool, they're handy, tough. <coughs> I only ever transfer them to my jars if 
they're a whole herb. So if, for instance, if it's just like a, a, a herb jar with something in it, um, just like one herb. However, if it's, um, if it's for instance, um, a mixed herb like that is, I will just keep it in that jar it comes in and use it for the ritual so I, I don't lose track of what's what. Um, then we got this little crystal which has got a purple end and a yellow end. Now, I know there's gonna be people screaming at my channel right now going, I know the name, I know the name. Because this is obviously such a, a a random crystal and such a pretty color as well. I think it's really nice. So I wanna say like an organza crystal. Quartz, maybe. It's definitely a quartz. Maybe it's an organza quartz. Why do I wanna say that? I don't know why I wanna say that. And I'm probably wrong. Um, but in my head, for some reason, I feel like I want to say organza quartz. Um, okay, so we've got our bag of spell candles, and they are pretty dark this time. So we've got a brown, a dark green, we have a dark purple, and we have a black, as well as we always get a white. In every one of these bags you usually get white so i would say are they um are they beltane um colors i guess so are they may colors i would have said because we're near easter and spring i would have gone pastels but we still haven't had any pastel colors for a while um then we have this it's a box with a ruin on it, the same ruin that we've got in the bag. So I'm assuming this is a pet protection ruin. Um, and it's like burnt into the box by the looks of things. But it's a nice little box. You could put some crystals in there, I suppose. I have so many of these boxes. And you could decorate it however you want, I guess. Paint it however you like. Um, so I do believe... All right, we've got one more thing in here. Yep, and then that's it. So then we have our Bind Runes Candle Dressing Oil. So yeah. And let's have a little whiff. See if we can recognise any fragrances from it. Ooh, that's very potent. Very eucalyptus. Yeah, it's definitely got eucalyptus in it because it's clearing my sinuses. <laughs> it's like Vicks. Vapor rub. So it's definitely got eucalyptus in it. I just can't think what else it's got in there. Mm. It's a distinctive smell though. Um, so yeah, so we got that bind at ruins. They never tell you what's in the oils um, for obvious, obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, so let's check this out, shall we? Let's see what should have been in the box and what is in the box and so forth and so on. Welcome to our April box, our fifth anniversary of starting our monthly subscription box. As we started in 2017, how time has flown. Our box this month is all about protection and Beltane. Um, so here is what we have for you this month. So the first thing was um, a Bind Ruins Candle Dressing Oil, which is what I just showed you. So we have that. Um, we have a bag of spell candles. Let's put that. Um, so we have a bag of spell candles. Um, we have a bind rune herb blend. There. We have. I was wrong about the crystal. I knew it would be. Um, it's an aura quartz crystal an aura yeah an aura spell a u r a aura quartz so i thought i was right with the quartz don't even know if they have an organza quartz but they must do um beltane uh pewter pendant which is our beltane one very nice too i do like those um I must be coming to the end of them now, surely, because I think I've got, we should be having all of them by now soon. Um, I'll have to have a double check. I've got quite a few, but I don't think I've got that many left. So, um, 
yeah, I can't remember which ones I have and which ones I don't. Um, but I remember when they started, so we must be coming up to the end of them now, because I think I've got all the holidays, um, almost. Um, then we have belt a, a bind rune spell kit. Now we've got quite a few spell kits, so bear with me. Uh, there we go, spell kit. Find rune spell kit. Then we have a, a Beltane ritual kit. Do we have one of those? No, we do not. Okay, I do not have a Beltane ritual kit. Unless it's, oh, unless it's the May Queen Ritual Kit. That could be the one they mean. Because I can't see that one on here. So it must be this one. I don't know. They've called it Beltane Ritual Kit on here. But on here it says May Queen Ritual. So maybe that's the one. I suppose May Queen and Beltane go together, I guess. They've just called it something different, I guess. Um... So yes, I do believe that is it. Wooden Beltane Altar Tile, which is there. Um, then we have Protection Puppet Doll. Which is that one. And then we have a Wooden Bind Rune Box, which is that one. Then we have a Witch's Bell Kit. No mention of the salt, which is which is protection salt, does not mention that at all. Maybe it's because it's needed for something else, maybe a ritual or something, but they have not put that down here. Um, and also, my Beltane ritual kit is, is called something else. Um, if you open have opened this box already and I'm wrong or my something's wrong in my box let me know um i mean i'm not fussed i'm not going to be contacting them and saying where is my bell chain ritual kit um but um yeah if you got this box and you did get a bell chain ritual kit let me know in the comments um so that is the entire box it's not very well organized because there's a lot of spell kits but um I have usually would all stand it up so it looked all nice and lovely, but I haven't. Um, but yeah, we've got an awful lot of spell kits and 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 spells and and rituals and a lot this time. Lots of bags. <laughs> um, and we also got our regular stuff, obviously, as well. Um, yeah, it's quite a good box, I guess. Um, it didn't jump out at me. I weren't, like, obviously jumping, swinging from the rooftops about it, but... You know, I've had a few of these boxes now, so after a while, you do get a bit less excited about them, I guess. Um, but no, they, they, they're very good. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. Still worth the money. Um, and it's a Beltane box, you know, I'm like for holidays. So, yes, that is our Freya's Cauldron box for April 2022. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you not? Um, I look really weird with a tan now. <laughs> My tan's fading a little bit. When I first got back off holiday, um, I was really dark. Um, so I faded a little bit. I have been moisturising though, and I haven't had a shave. Um, I need a shave to trim this beard up as well, because I look a bit of a mess. Um, so yeah, so, and my hair's getting higher and higher. I'm a bit like, looking a bit like Elvis Presley, but a grey version, what he'd probably look like now. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so yes. Um, that is the uh, Freya's Cauldron box. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely like unboxing it. And it's a great little box. I'm glad it's still going. Um, it's a shame, obviously, that I'm used to opening three boxes. But it's probably come at the right time for me. Because um, originally I was only ever going to have two boxes. Um, because I was trying to think of a third, one of the ones to get rid of. And, and it's sort of done it for me, really. Um, it's a shame because I did enjoy, um, you know, Cures and Curses. But... Um, it is what it is, and um, Frey's Cauldron is still a great box, and I would suggest getting it if you're going to get a box. Um, and of course, we do have which is which, 
which cast gets on its way as well. So let me know in the comments what you thought of the box. Um, did you think there was enough Beltane in there? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely up on my Beltane holiday. Um, however, let me know what you think. Should there have been a bit more Beltane in there? Would you have done something different? Maybe you thought it was spot on, perfect. And if so, let me know in the comments. Also, if you uh, would like to watch some more of my videos, or maybe even a chance to, because I have not even looked yet, guys. I'm so sorry, I've been on holiday, come back, hit the ground running. I'm doing this video and I've not even checked my channel. Um, so I don't know if I've hit 500 yet. I could have a ton of you screaming at me in the comment boxes saying, you've hit 500, you've hit 500. Um, I'm gonna check when I upload this video. So by the time I do this video, I'll know if I have hit 500. But if I have hit 500, um, then obviously I will be get, given a giveaway. But you do have to be subscribed to my channel in order to um, to be part of that um, giveaway. And also, I will because I'll be picking out one person um, from my the list of people, um, and I will be choosing one of my subscribers to walk away with some great gifts from me. All witchy related, of course. Um, now, if you don't want to miss out on a video that I'm doing, why not press that little bell notification, wherever it may be, um, and it will let you know when I'm uploading or I've uploaded a video. And last but not least, if you want my channel to keep thriving and we need more people on the channel um, and we want to get close to that 500 mark, if we're not there already, um, I, um, I will uh, make sure that you give me a little thumbs up because then that lets YouTube know that you enjoy my videos and then they will push my videos to the front of the queue so people see them a bit more. Um, and then we can have some more lovely subscribers on the channel to join us to have some fun. And then obviously for giveaways because I will be giving stuff away um, throughout the year as we hit more and more targets um, for subscribers. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the boxing, the, the boxing, the unboxing, <laughs> um, yeah, bit boxing. and um, yes, yeah, so uh, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember guys, I do love every single one of my subscribers. You are amazing for sticking by me, watching my videos. I really am appreciative. Again, if there are comments, I will get back to you as quick as the, quickly as I can. Obviously, I've been on holiday, so I haven't had a chance to. I sort of turned my phone off and didn't really do any major um, social media stuff um, while I was away on holiday. I was just having to relax. So, but um, I'm back now and I'm going to be, you know, replying to your messages and stuff. Um, so, you know, I will get back to you as soon as I can. But that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and remember, remember, I can't talk today. Remember, guys, um, you be you and blessed be.